Artemis has some issues. Come on, Van Presto. What's up with your QC? Quality control, people. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have several different unboxings for you, and I wanted to share these with you because they have been sitting in my studio for quite some time. I feel like that's the story of my life. So today I have the fluffy puffy, both Luna and Artemis and Diana. I also have Super Sailor Moon, the Q Posket figure that came out in December of 2020. And I was reached out to by Yume Twins. So I also have an unboxing of this Yume Twins box. I also have an affiliate code down below in the show notes if you want to check this out for yourself. So I'm gonna unbox this on camera and let you know what I got. Also, if you ever see really cool merchandise in your stores, wherever you live, definitely send me a tip over on Instagram. My name over there is at Sailor Snubs, and you can also use the hashtag code Mooney whenever you see something in store that you definitely need to let other Moonies know about. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fluffy puffies and I will move on from there. You can go over here, Sailor Moon. I'll do Artemis and Diana first, and then I'll move on to Miss Luna over here. So if this is your first time seeing these fluffy puffy figures, they're super, super cute. I have seen them all over the internet and I'm finally getting around to unboxing mine, but these are basically crane game winnings. So if you had access to the crane games around January of 2021, then this is one of those options that you could have won. Usually you can find these aftermarket for around, I would say 15 to $25, depending on where you purchase them from. So here is the box for the fluffy puffy of Artemis and Diana. Now these are the movie version of the cats and you will notice that when you look at Luna and her eye color for example. Online it quotes these to be about seven centimeters each and both of them have this brushed soft texture on the top of them however they are hard figures. Whenever you play a crane game you would have the option of either winning Luna or winning Artemis and Diana together. As you can see this is made by Ben Presto and Bandai and of course we have all the copyrighted information at the bottom and on the top we have the Toei sticker on both the Artemis and Diana version as well as the Luna version. So in the box we have them covered with some cardboard. Oh these are heavy and it looks like they were separated which is good to keep them safe. Even Diana's kind of She's like solid. She feels really solid and heavy. Okay, so here, oops, sorry Artemis, my bad dude. What in the world? Why is there yellow on his face? Mmm, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> that's annoying. Here's Luna. As you can see, she has the blue eyes instead of red, and she does have her cute little yellow crescent moon at the top. Her face looks pretty good, and it feels like the fluffy texture is quite well done on her, so she looks really, really nice. There's a little bit of extra texture down on her legs, so that created a bit more of a white color there. Also, I totally wanna to point out, look at her cute little feet. That is so cute. Uh, she definitely feels solid. It feels like she's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, she feels like rock hard, like I could throw this at somebody or throw it out a window and it would break the window. <laughs> okay, and then we have Artemis over here. Artemis has some issues. So first off, we have this little black dot on his face right there, which I don't know if that's gonna come off. I'll have to try to get it off maybe with a wet towel or something, but it looks like dirt. We also have a bit of yellow right here and it looks like overprint from his eyeballs or something like that. It looks like maybe there was a little bit of extra paint that dripped over to the side, but it created this yellow mark right here. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, given the lighting. I'm pretty disappointed that that's there, given that each of these costs like around 20 bucks or so. So I would expect these to look a lot better for the price, especially given the size. He also has a little mark right there. Uh, otherwise, nothing else to report on him. He looks pretty decent other than that, but I will probably try to find a replacement because I'm not happy about that. Come on, Van Presto. What's up with your QC? Quality control, people. Okay, and then we have Diana over here. And Diana looks really cute. Look at her little 
collar with the little bell that looks adorable. She still has the little paws, the little toe beans. Very cute. Otherwise, she looks really good. Um, I don't see any issues with her paint or with the fluffy texture, with the soft felt texture, so she looks pretty good. Yeah, overall she looks perfect, so I'm really happy with Diana. Now, another thing about these I did want to mention too is each of them has a copyright symbol on their back, and Luna's is printed in white while the other, sorry Luna, the other two are printed in black on their backs. So they look really cute together. Definitely something that I'm happy I got. However, I am gonna replace Artemis because he shouldn't have yellow next to his eyeball. That's weird. Sorry, Artemis. Okay, I'm gonna save Super Sailor Moon for the end. Let's go ahead and open up this Yume Twins box. So if you've never heard of Yume Twins, it is a kawaii subscription box from Japan. Each of the boxes contains about five to seven different high quality items. That includes plushies, you can get practical lifestyle goods in here, stationary items, etc., etc. They do feature a lot of brands, including Sailor Moon, as well as Hello Kitty, Totoro. There's a whole bunch of very, very accessible brands in these boxes. So if you are interested in getting one of these boxes, they cost about $35 per month, and I do have that link down below that you can use if you want to. However, what I would recommend is signing up for either their three month, six month, or 12 month plans because those drop the price per box. So you can get it as cheap as $31.50 as opposed to $35 if you just got one month of the boxed items. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and let you know what I think of the value given that I do a lot of purchases from Japan myself. All right, so here's the Yume Twins box the logo on the front. You can see it got a little bit damaged, but hopefully that didn't affect the products. Oh, that is so cute. Look, it says Konnichiwa. So this box appears to be Pokemon themed, which is great because I also like Pokemon myself. So it's called Poke Dream, August 2021, volume 63. So this looks to be the August box. Let's see what we get in this box. There's a tissue holder plushie, a Pokeball puzzle figure. Oh, that's fun. I'm guessing that's a mystery figure, super fun. A Poke Pals keychain. We have some hand cream, perfumed hand cream. So this does look to have some kind of perfume. So if you are somebody who prefers unscented, you probably would not like that. Pikachu plate or bowl, and then a Pikachu pen as well. And then the hand creams. Okay, so we have Eevee, Psyduck, Mew, and Pikachu. Oh, I hope, I'm not a big fan of Psyduck, sorry, but I really like Eevee, Mew, and Pikachu. So hopefully I got one of those. We'll see, we'll see. So we have Snorlax, <laughs> right up front and center. Big guy. Oh, he's cute. He's so plushy and soft. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Is this from the Pokemon Center? I feel like this is probably just sold everywhere. Okay, so you stick your tissues in there and there's also a little zipper pouch. That's cool. Zipper pouch is separate from where you can put your tissues. You know, I have some little nephews who would adore this box. They would freak out if I gave them one of these products. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll give one of these to them for Christmas or something. We'll see. <laughs> so there's the tissue holder. And then I got the bowl. Okay, so this is a simple little plastic bowl with Pikachu on it. That's definitely big enough for my cereal. So that's cute. By the way, do you like seeing different anime on this channel? like Japan culture or just anime inspired or anime in general. Sailor Moon's not the only thing I like. Also video games like Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite games. And um, I I'm wondering if you want me to include that kind of stuff on here or just stick to Sailor Moon. So that's something I've been noodling on. Let me know how you feel about that and uh, drop a comment down below on your thoughts. Next we have this cute little pen that features Pikachu. Just a simple little pen, nothing super special or fancy about that. Oh, that's cute. So here's our very cute little keychain. It says Pocket Monsters Pikachu. Pocket Monsters is the name that you will see in Japan quite often when it comes to Pokemon. And that says Kiringu, Kiring. Okay, so it says key ring. Okay, here's the hand cream. This one is 
apple, orange, and cassis, cassie? I don't know how to say that word, C-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. How do you say that? Let me know. That sounds like a really nice mixture of scents. So let's take it out and find out. Okay, so is this tested on animals? Uh, probably, I don't see anything saying that it's not. Collagen and hyaluronic acid in this hand cream provide relief for hands. Bring out the beauty in your hands. So Eevee is straight up like one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Eevee so much. I want five Eevees just running around my household. That would be a dream come true. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a hand cream. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a beauty YouTuber. See how nice it is. I'm gonna put this on and uh, Let's see by the end of the video if it makes any difference in the softness of my hands, which is nice because my cuticles are terrible right now. Smells good, really cute. Okay, that's a, that's a nice little item to have in the box. I really like this. I like the bowl and I love the Snorlax tissue holder. Adorable. Okay, and then we have Charmander, Pokemon Mega Constructs. Cool, what is this? I've never seen one of these before. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so it's like a little Lego set. So you can build your own little Charmander. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'll save that for, I think that's gonna be a little project that I do with one of my little nephews. So I'll save this for them. But this is cute. This is adorable. This would make a great gift for somebody who is like really into anime and would love to have one of these for their birthday or for Christmas. I think this would make a really nice gift and it would be so much fun for them to open. So at around $35, I feel like that's what you would normally pay for this amount of product. So I think that's a fair price, given that it's uh, all products that are available in Japan and you can't necessarily find here. So if I was including shipping in that price, then yeah, that's a decent price for these. Um, I think it's a nice box. It's definitely really cute. I would pay attention to whatever the brands are that they're introducing for that month to make sure that you're getting something that you're really going to love. Luckily, I love Pokemon as well. So this one worked out really well for me. But if you didn't like Pokemon, then you probably want to skip that month and then go for like the future Yume Twins box. So let me know what you think of this unboxing down below. I thought it was super fun. And thank you so much to Yume Twins for sending this box over to me to introduce me to the brand as well as my, my audience and my viewers. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the Super Sailor Moon Cupos kit. Bye Snorlax. Okay, so here is Super Sailor Moon. I probably shouldn't have banged that box with my knife, but I definitely just did that. So this is the theatrical version, Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon Eternal Q Posket, Super Sailor Moon. There's also a Super Sailor Chibi Moon, and there are also two versions. There's an A version, which is like the anime bright colors. There's also the B version, which is the pastels. She's about 14 centimeters. This is not the first Q Posket that has come out with this collaboration. Uh, this has been a line that has been coming out with Cupos kits for a very long time, and this is just a brand of figures that you can purchase. They have a whole bunch of other brands that they do collaborations with as well. For example, I have the Dragon Ball Lunch figures, both A and B, the blonde and the brunette, or the purple-haired versions, because Lunch is my favorite character from Dragon Ball. So this girl released in December of 2020, and again, she was a crane game option, so you could win her in a crane game. However, she was available internationally as well through a lot of proxies and resellers, and you could usually find these for around $20 to $25. They are generally pretty inexpensive, so this is a really easy product to get into if you are first starting to collect. Myself, I don't collect a lot of Cupos kits. I just focus on Sailor Moon and maybe Sailor Pluto and Saturn now and then, but she's the only one that I really focus on, which is probably a good thing because there's a lot of Cupos kits and I feel like that would be really expensive to collect all of them, even though they are priced really fairly. When you get into the color variations, there's a lot of them. So I'm just gonna save my money and focus on like trying to afford the Sailor Moon bulk stall. Yeah, I still got that on my wish list. <laughs> so here's her head. You can tell that this is the pastel version. This is the B version. She has very light colored yellow hair. 
Her eyes are really pretty and shiny, and she also has this nice shiny tiara. These are also a bit more pearlescent than her hair, and she has her regular Odongu covers. Her hair is made really well. I do wish there was some more shading in it because it is just a stark pastel yellow color and that's it. There's her body. So you can tell that this is the super Sailor Moon version. Her stripes are not super even. They look like they were painted by hand and there's a lot of places where the stripes are not entirely even. I feel like they could have done a better job with that. I really like her pearlescent bow. There's no shadowing techniques whatsoever on these but they still look very, very cute. Her head goes on like so. And she also comes with a little stand. It says Cuposket on it, and then it has this really pretty floral detailing with some hearts on it around the edges. Okay, there we go. Now you can see how big she is once you actually get her on her stand. To compare her with a couple of other ones, hold on a sec. Okay, so I have the Princess Serenity Cuposket with the regular yellow hair, as well as a regular Sailor Moon with regular yellow hair. And then I also have this new one, which is the pastel variant of the Super Sailor Moon movie version without the kaleidoscope. So she does not have her wand. However, they did come out with one that comes with a wand as well. So if I hold these up side by side, you can really tell the color variation between the two. Hopefully this is in focus, but the pastel one on camera almost looks like she has like super pale, pale blonde hair, while this one is obviously anime inspired. Another difference I saw, and maybe this is because it's crystal inspired, is look at her hair pigtails. The regular Sailor Moon has really thick pigtails, while this one, they're more defined. They look a lot prettier on the newer Sailor Moon. She also has some cute little flyaways in front of her ears on the new version, as opposed to the old Q Posket, which did not have any flyaways. So that's a big difference too. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Sailor Moon. Now I do have to say though, when comparing these side by side, this one seems to have a little bit more coloring done. For example, she has the shiny bead in the middle of her tiara. Her Odongo covers are also more pearlescent, almost transparent looking, while this one is a flat paint. So when it comes to the paint style, I do like her accessories on the older version more than the newer version, but I like her eyes a lot more on the newer version and her pigtails. They're so much more defined. It's so interesting seeing these side by side. Wow, very cool. And then she can have her friends. Luna, Artemis, and Diana. So I think we are done for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of some Crane Game winnings from January and December of 2020. And I hope you enjoyed the Yume Twins unboxing as well. Thank you so much again to Yume Twins for sending me that box and allowing me to unbox it for my channel. Again, if you want to sign up for Yume Twins, that link is down below. And if you have any questions or concerns, or if you just want to share your comments on these new products from Sailor Moon, I say new, but they're like almost a year old at this point, eh, whatever. Make sure to put those comments down below as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you like the new decor and the new setup in this room. I have so much more space. So I was able to set up a table and I absolutely love it. So I hope you do too. And until next time, my name is Sailor Snubs. Jate.